Christ born in Bethlehem, no coincidence. The Gospels of Matthew and Luke tell us that Jesus was born in Bethlehem Matthew 2, 1 12. Luke 2, for 20. But how did Mary and Joseph find themselves? So far from their hometown of Nazareth, at a time so close to Mary's delivery? The explanation begins with Caesar Augustus, the Emperor of Rome, who ruled from 27 BC. Historians have branded Caesar Augustus as the greatest Roman emperor of all time. His most notable act, the one that left his mark on history, was his census plan. The census would prove successful in Augustus's overall plan to collect taxes and transform Rome from a brick and mortar city to a marble empire. The biblical account of nativity tells us that Jesus was born. During the time, the Israelites were called to participate in Caesar Augustus' census. Joseph and Mary had to travel from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem so that they could fulfill their duty. Luke 2. Why would the couple have to travel more than 80 miles to be counted? In deference to Jewish customs, Roman law required people who lived in Judea and the surrounding area to return to their ancestral homeland for census registration. Since Joseph belonged to the house and line of David, Bethlehem was his designated census hub. It is by no coincidence that Jesus, the Lamb of God, was also born in the same town as the sacrificial lambs. In fact, the place of Jesus' birth was prophesied by Micah about 700 years before it came to pass. Found in Micah 5-2, But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Bethlehem was a small city in Judah near Jerusalem. King David had been born in Bethlehem, and Jesus, who came from the lineage of King David, and whose lineage goes all the way back to Adam. Jesus is referred to as the King of the Jews from the beginning of his life to the end. And it is no coincidence that Bethlehem's literal meaning is the house of bread, because Jesus is the bread of life. You see, every detail about the birth of Jesus, including being born in Bethlehem, was all part of God's divine plan for our salvation. And therefore, the foretelling of his second coming will certainly come to pass. This will not be a coincidence either. It will be a fulfilling of God's word.